Hello, we're here with MMA News Canada. I'm Brent Kirlu, and I'm about to phone Curtis to Mars. See him uh, how his fight went uh, this last weekend at MFC 29. Hello. Hey Curtis, how are you doing? Hey man, what's going on? Oh, not too much. So, yeah, you fought this last weekend. You fought, uh, yeah. yeah, you fought uh, Marcus Davis, a UFC vet. Uh, you're always challenging yourself by fighting uh, bigger and better opponents. I know it's kind of a generic question, but uh, how was your nerves going into this fight? Um, you know, I think uh, going into the fight, I was I was a little nervous, but uh, you know, I've I've been around forever. I've I've had you know twenty some fights, and I think that um, you know it wasn't too bad. It was just another fight for me, and. I just went in there really focused, and uh, I was I trained I trained my ass off for that fight. So, well, well, it definitely showed, right? You're going off against a tough competitor like that, and uh, he wasn't able to uh, put you out like he said, right? He wanted to knock you out, but it didn't happen, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I knew I knew coming into the fight that uh, you know studying him and watching his past fights um, in the UFC, um, I knew that you know he's got a really heavy left hand. Um, and he likes to throw that right hook, so you know I tried to avoid that as much as I could, and I tried to keep my distance. And I I thought I was beating him to every punch, and I was quicker than him. So yeah, right off the the first round, you can see that you're you're using your good footwork, and you're seeming to move in really well, and uh, you're doing the you know boxing back and forth and whatnot. But uh, you got into the clinch, and it seemed like Davis kind of started imposing his will and was able to get that takedown. Now, were you surprised about this and, uh, like, the use of his old man strength, I guess you can say? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, um, my, my dad used to always tell me once once you get to that certain age, you get that old man strength. And, um, you know, it really showed. And uh, his, you know, his experience really showed. And, it was kind of weird that, uh, that Davis, you know, was trying to look for the takedowns on me as he, you know, usually likes to stand and bang and show off his boxing. Um, but I know, I know, like, you know, he's, he's very strong. He used to fight at 170. That's where he was, you know, in the UFC, that's where he was. He, was, he fought at 170 all the time. So um, I wasn't too surprised, but I just couldn't believe how physically strong he was. Um, and uh, how well he worked on his takedowns and... and you know, once once he got on top of me, it felt like, you know, it was so it was so difficult for me to get back up. You know, um, and and I worked on that a lot, and he was just so physically strong that it was it was very difficult for me. Well, yeah, and when you mentioned that you're on his, on your back, he didn't really give you a lot of room. <clears throat> he wasn't posturing up or anything, and he kind of kept it really tight, and you you were able to cut him with that elbow. Now, with his head being that close, did like did you think that he was going to be that? Was that something that you planned with those elbows? Um, yeah, I, I know, I knew that you know Marcus has uh, got a lot of scar tissue. Um, coming into the fight, we studied that he bleeds. I think that I've never ever seen Marcus fight without you know bleeding. Um, every every fight that I've seen of his, he's always bleeding. So, um, I I knew that I have very very sharp elbows, and I like to throw my elbows a lot. So, um. You know, coming in, uh, I worked a lot of my submissions from the bottom and my back because me and Marcus are very similar fighters. We both like to stand and bang. We both have tight boxing. And uh, we both, on the ground, like to be on top. So I knew that if I was on my back and he was on top, he's going to be very strong and very difficult to get off. So what I did was I, I worked on my submissions. But uh, he, like you said, he wasn't giving me that room to look for a submission. So... Uh, as he put his head, you know, right on my chest. So, um, you know, all I could really do was throw the elbows from there. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, you know, you were able to cut him then, but uh, in the second round, you were caught by a huge punch and that sent your mouth guard flying. Then in the third round, he caught you with a big knee and yeah, I was, you can hear that noise that it made. What, to you, was the biggest shot that landed on you during that fight? Um, you know, I, to be honest, I didn't feel much. Um, I didn't feel much in the fight. Um, the straight right or the straight left that he did catch me with, that when my mouth guard th threw out. Um, you know, I think I think my mouth was just open and my mouth guard was just kind of hanging out. Um, in the third, when he caught me with that knee, um, I didn't even realize that he that he landed the knee. Um, 
you know, but I think the hardest shot that he did land on me was uh, when I started telegraphing my, my fake, my the whole fight, um, if you watch, I was actually faking, faking my shot for the single leg and then I'd throw the overhand and he actually started to time it and uh, throw up that knee. And uh, at one point he actually caught me in the ribs and uh, it actually kind of winded me for a bit. So I think that was the shot that landed the cleanest and, and really hurt me the most. Um, other than that, I don't feel that I was in any danger at all in the fight, except for the guillotine choke that he had on me, and, and I managed to squeeze out of that. So, yeah, that was a uh, that looked pretty tight, man. So it's good he got got out of that one. Now, every time uh, a fighter gets in the cage, you learn something. So you fought a UFC vet, Marcus Davis. What lessons and tools did you get out of this fight? Um, you know, I, I just really learned and um, actually, it actually motivates me more now. Um, coming off two split decisions is very, very hard. Um, you know, as I think that both fights were very close and they could have gone either way. Um, and, you know, you learn, every, you, you learn something from every fight and I think that, uh, you know, I learned a lot. Um, I learned that uh, coming in condition 100% is, is, you know, a must. And I think that uh, when I go back to the drawing board with my team and my manager, it's just going to get better from here, and, and I'm going to be way more prepared for next time. And, um, you know, i, I got to start finishing fights now. I'm, I'm sick of these decisions, so. Yeah, well, the age of 22, right? You're you're fighting uh, Marcus Davis. He's 38. You're in there. It's a close fight. He comes out with the to be victorious in it, right? But... I mean, it is what it is. You have a bright career ahead of you. If you keep doing, keep doing exciting fights like that, you got a good career happening. So uh, I'm looking forward to your next fight. And uh, who do you have an opponent set? Um, yeah, we we were in the mix of we were actually in a talk right now, um, in the mix and stuff. And um, I love I love fighting for the MSC and it's exciting. And uh, I think that uh, my next opponent is actually. Um, Rob Washington, who actually just fought, uh, he actually just got knocked out by uh, Hermes Franca. So that that'll be interesting. Another guy that likes to stab and bang, and and uh, you know he's well rounded. But I mean, uh, I'm not too worried, and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna finish this fight. Um, I'm very confident now, and I know where I need to be, and uh, I'm looking to finish every fight now. Well, great to hear, man. Thanks for catching up with me today. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that fight. And uh, keep it going, right? No problem, Ben. Take care, bro. Okay, see you, bro. Bye. Peace. There you have it. He's uh, not afraid of anyone now. He fought against a tough guy, Marcus Davis. Came out. Close fight, man. But uh, things don't always go that way. So, uh, what's next? The Robert Washington? Finish that fight. It's everything. From MMA News Canada, I'm Brent Kerlew.